Alright, what's up ladies and gents? We're back with another Skylanders redo review. We're doing Gilgrunt. One of the original three. Alright, so here he is. Gilgrunt, Water Skylander, level 10, all 32 rogues done. Pirate hat does critical hit plus 20. I just like it on him. Powers. Harpoon gun. Shoot high velocity harpoons at your enemies. Power hose. Press and hold B in the weird mode to spray water at your enemies to knock them back. Essentially it's a useless weapon. Barbed wire. Um pff, barbed harpoons. Harpoons do increase damage. High pressure power hose. Power hose attack does extra damage and knocks enemies back further. Harpoon repeater. Harpoons reload faster. Water jetpack. Press Z on the Wii remote to fly until the water jetpack runs out. Increase speed and armor while flying. And I chose the harpooner path this time. We've got quadrant harpoons. Harpoons do even more increased damage. You notice they, the gun changed a bit of form, so did the uh, actual harpoon. Piercing harpoons. Harpoons travel straight through enemies and hit new targets. Triple shot harpoon. Shoot three harpoons at once. And then the soul gem. Anchor cannon. Hold A on the Wii remote to charge anchor cannon. Requires soul gem and treetop terrace. So that being said... We're going to take him to my place. <laughs> Scooter. Map. Blah, 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 blah. Good, bye. Why did you not die? That's retarded. Good, bye. Uh, I'd say overall, him and um, Zat make the water Skylanders just average. There's two amazing ones, Slam Bam and um, Wham Shell. The other two are just average. So at the moment where I stand, I don't know if Gilgrun's even worth getting the repos, because I really don't like him on either path, to be honest. The harpoon is so damn slow to reload, it's ridiculous. you think they would have increased that since I went the harpoon path. May shoot out three, but the thing can barely hit anything close up. It's kind of annoying. It does shoot through enemies and stuff, but I don't know. I think it'll be good against PvP because all you have to deal with are the hooks, which do the most damage. But I don't know. Overall, really nothing special. On the water, he's nothing special either, because he's so slow no matter what you do. I mean, I don't think you win either way with his paths, to be honest. He's, he's like average, an average class Skylander, in my opinion. Same with Trigger Happy, they're just average. Spyro as well, there's a reason why they probably gave all three of them for free, because they're average. So I take it that's probably what Jet Vac will be like in Tree Rex or whatever from this Giants. So we'll see. But yeah, I wasn't too impressed, as you could tell. So yeah. That's it for now. Take care and have a good day. Bye.